What is Cardano and how does it work? Why was Cardano once recognized as potential danger to number two crypto, which is Ethereum? And will it ever get back to that point? These and many more questions will be answered if you stay until the end of this video. And don't worry, all videos on Bitcoin Academy are 100% beginner friendly. So just sit back and enjoy. We will explain everything about Cardano by dividing this video in six key topics. And what better way to start than answering what Cardano is in the first place? Imagine trying to build a new kind of internet, one that's faster, more secure, and works better for everyone, especially people who don't have access to good banking or digital tools. That's basically what Cardano is trying to do, but with blockchain technology. Cardano is a type of cryptocurrency and blockchain platform, similar to Bitcoin or Ethereum. But unlike those, it was created from the ground up with a different philosophy. It was founded by Charles Hoskinson, one of the original team members behind Ethereum. He left Ethereum because he wanted to take a more careful, scientific approach to building a blockchain, more like how you'd build an airplane or a bridge, where research and structure matter more than anything. Cardano launched in 2017 and is often called the academic blockchain because every feature it adds is based on peer-reviewed research. In simple terms, that means experts study and test everything before it goes live. It's like building a car only after the blueprints have been approved by a team of engineers. So how is it different from Bitcoin and Ethereum? Bitcoin is mostly used for sending and storing digital money. Ethereum allows for apps and contracts to run on its network, like little programs that don't need a middleman. Cardano wants to do both, but better. It aims to be faster, use less energy, and be easier to upgrade over time. Instead of copying other projects, Cardano built its own system from scratch. Its cryptocurrency is called ADA, named after Ada Lovelace, a 19th century mathematician who's considered one of the first computer programmers. You can think of ADA like digital fuel. You use it to pay for things on the Cardano network, like sending money or using apps. You can also stake your ADA, sort of like putting it in a savings account to help run the network, and you earn rewards in return. Here's a real-world example. Imagine Cardano is like a public transit system. Bitcoin is a single train line that goes one direction. Ethereum is a train line that also lets people rent out cars. Cardano is trying to build a full, multi-layered transport system with trains, buses, roads, and self-driving cars designed from the start to work together. And it's not just about technology. Cardano is trying to solve real problems, especially in parts of the world that are often left behind. In places like Africa, where many people don't have access to banks or secure IDs, Cardano is working on ways to help people prove who they are and access digital services. These are early projects, but they show the bigger goal, which is not just building cool tech, but making it useful. Of course, there are critics. Some say Cardano moves too slowly. Others point out it doesn't have as many apps as Ethereum, but supporters argue that going slow is the point because it leads to fewer bugs, more trust, and a stronger foundation. In short, Cardano is a blockchain platform built with care. It focuses on doing things right, even if it takes longer. And ADA, its digital currency, plays a key role in how it all works. Whether or not it will become a major player in the long term remains to be seen, but it's definitely one of the most unique projects in the crypto world. And just like that, you already know so much about Cardano, and we have barely started. Things are getting more juicy as we move on to topic number two, which is Cardano's blockchain technology. To understand how Cardano works under the hood, think of it like a high-tech city. This city has two main systems, one that handles money and one that runs apps or programs. Cardano separates these two functions into two layers, kind of like having separate roads for buses and cars to keep traffic moving smoothly. The first layer is called the settlement layer, or CSL. This is where ADA, the currency, lives. It's responsible for sending and receiving ADA between users. You can think of it like the cash register system in a store. Simple, fast, and only focused on moving money. The second layer is called the computation layer, or CCL. This is where smart contracts and decentralized apps run. It's like the software system behind the scenes, handling everything from online orders to digital signatures. By keeping these two layers separate, Cardano can upgrade and fix one without messing up the other, which makes it more flexible and secure. Now, let's talk about how Cardano keeps the whole system running smoothly and safely. Most cryptocurrencies rely on something called a consensus mechanism, basically a method to agree on what transactions are valid. Cardano uses a special type of this called Ouroboros, which is a version of proof of stake. In a simpler example, 
Imagine a group of friends deciding who gets to choose the next movie. In Bitcoin, everyone has to shout out their pick at once. This is energy intensive and slow. In Cardano, everyone takes turns, based on how many points they have saved up. The more ADA you own and stake, the more chance you have to help verify transactions and earn rewards. This method uses way less electricity than the older proof-of-work method used by Bitcoin. It's kind of like switching from gas-guzzling cars to cars that would run on water. More efficient and better for the environment. Cardano also focuses heavily on scalability, which means being able to handle more users and transactions as the network grows. It's building tools like Hydra, a system that allows the network to process many transactions at once without slowing down. Imagine going from a single-lane road to a multi-lane highway. More traffic, but less congestion. Then there's security. Since every update goes through academic research and formal verification, Cardano is designed to minimize bugs and avoid major breakdowns. It's like testing every part of a bridge before anyone drives on it. That makes it a lot harder for hackers or errors to cause serious problems. Finally, sustainability is built into the system. Cardano has its own treasury, kind of like a community savings account, that can be used to fund future development. ADA holders vote on how that money is spent, giving the community a say in the platform's future. So, in plain terms, Cardano's tech is built for the long haul. It's energy efficient, carefully tested, and designed to grow over time. It might not be the flashiest or fastest, but it's aiming to be one of the most reliable systems in the crypto world. All right, we are moving close to first half of the video, and we explain the blockchain, but let's us break down how Cardano actually works in practice. Trust me, it will be important in order to move on. Imagine sending money through a network that works kind of like a digital postal system. You write a letter, stamp it with a digital signature, and drop it into the mailbox. The Cardano network then checks the letter, confirms it is real, and delivers it to the right person. When you send ADA to someone, your transaction goes into a pool of other transactions. These are collected and added to a block, which is like a page in a digital ledger. To decide who gets to add that page, Cardano uses its proof-of-stake system. It selects someone based on how much ADA they have staked. The more you have, the more likely you are to be chosen but you still need to play by the rules or you will not earn rewards. Once the transaction is approved and added to the block, it becomes part of the permanent history on the Cardano blockchain. This process is fast, secure, and does not use much energy compared to older systems like Bitcoin. Now let us talk about staking. In traditional finance, you might put your money in a savings account to earn interest. In Cardano, you can stake your ADA to help secure the network and get rewarded. It is kind of like putting your money to work for the whole system. You can do this yourself or join a staking pool, which is a group of users who combine their ADA for a better chance at earning rewards. It is similar to people pooling their money in a lottery to increase the odds of winning. Either way, your ADA never leaves your wallet, which means it stays safe while earning you a return. Staking makes Cardano more secure and decentralized because it encourages more people to participate. The more people involved, the harder it is for any single person or group to attack the system. Next up is smart contracts. These are like digital agreements that run automatically when conditions are met. For example, you could create a contract that says pay someone only if a certain task is done. Once that task is confirmed, the money is released without needing a middleman or any institution. Cardano allows developers to build these smart contracts and even entire decentralized apps on its platform. These apps can handle anything from games and marketplaces to identity checks and loans. They all run on the Cardano blockchain, which means they are open, secure, and cannot be tampered with. In short, Cardano works by combining several powerful ideas, secure and energy-efficient transactions through staking, rewards for users who help maintain the system, and a platform for building apps that do not need banks or central authorities. It is like having a digital bank, a contract system, and an app store all rolled into one. And before we move on, let me congratulate you for making it past half of today's video. You already know much more than 90% of people that are involved in World of Crypto, and that can give you a huge advantage moving forward. Now let's make that percentage even higher by diving in more serious topics, starting with topic number four, which is key features and innovations. Cardano is often described as a different kind of blockchain because it does not just aim to work. It aims to work well and be backed by science. One of its standout features is its use of peer-reviewed research. 
In most crypto projects, developers write code and push updates quickly. In Cardano, new features go through academic review first. That means researchers study the ideas and give feedback before anything is built. It is like designing a skyscraper. You would not just start building without engineers checking the plans. Cardano follows the same mindset. This approach has made it slower than some other blockchains, but also more stable. It helps avoid big mistakes and bugs that could cause problems down the road. But at the same time, it makes it not fully decentralized, which is against the core philosophy of crypto. Another key innovation is Hydra. Hydra is a technology designed to make Cardano faster as more people use it. Think of Hydra like opening new lanes on a busy road. Each lane takes some of the traffic, so the whole system runs more smoothly. With Hydra, Cardano can handle more transactions per second without losing speed or security. This is especially important if it wants to serve millions of users in the future. Then there is the Voltaire system. Voltaire is about giving power to the community. Most crypto networks are either run by developers or big investors. Cardano is trying to change that. With Voltaire, ADA holders can vote on how the network should evolve. For example, they can decide which updates get funded or which direction the project should take. This makes Cardano more like a digital democracy. Instead of having a boss or central company in charge, the people who use it help guide its growth. To support this, Cardano has a treasury system. A small part of transaction fees goes into this treasury. Over time, it builds up a fund that can be used to pay for improvements or research. And the users get to vote on how that money is spent. Also worth noting is Cardano focus on security. Every part of the system is built using a formal method called functional programming. Without getting too technical, this means the code behaves in very predictable ways. It is like building a clock where every gear moves exactly how it should. This reduces the chances of bugs or hacks slipping through because everything not ordinary would immediately stand out. Finally, Cardano is working to be more inclusive. Its tools and systems are designed to be used in real-world settings, especially in developing countries. The platform is already involved in projects that give digital identity to people in Africa or help farmers track their crops. These efforts show that Cardano is not just about making money, but about making a difference. In summary, Cardano key features are its academic foundation, its tools for scaling like Hydra, its community-driven governance with Voltaire, and its strong focus on security and real-world impact. While it may not be the fastest to launch new features, it aims to make sure each one is safe, useful, and built to last. We finally made it to juicy topics, starting with topic number five, real-world use cases. One of the big questions people have about any cryptocurrency is what can you actually do with it? Cardano is not just trying to be another digital coin. It is aiming to be useful in everyday life. Let us look at some of the real-world areas where Cardano is being used or tested. Start with identity. In many parts of the world, especially in Africa, people do not have government-issued IDs. This makes it hard for them to get loans, open bank accounts, or even prove who they are. Cardano has partnered with countries like Ethiopia to create digital identities for students. This helps track their education and gives them a way to prove their achievements to schools or employers. Think of it like a digital report card that stays with you no matter where you go. It is stored on the blockchain so it cannot be lost or faked. This could be a game changer for millions of people who have never had official documents. Now let us talk about farming. Cardano is being used to help farmers in developing countries prove where their crops came from. This is called supply chain tracking. Imagine you buy a bag of coffee at a store. With blockchain, you could scan a code and see where that coffee was grown, how it was harvested, and when it was shipped. This builds trust and can help farmers get better prices because buyers know they are getting real quality. Cardano is also active in the world of decentralized finance, or DeFi. This is a way for people to borrow, lend, or earn interest without using a bank. With smart contracts, users can lock up their ADA and get a loan in another token. It is like getting a cash advance without needing to ask a bank for approval. These tools are still new, but they are growing fast, and Cardano is working on platforms to support them. Then there is NFTs. These are digital collectibles that prove ownership of art, music, or even game items. Cardano has an ecosystem of NFT projects that use its network to mint and trade these assets. Since Cardano fees are low and the network is energy efficient, it is seen as a good option for artists and creators who want to sell their work without high costs. Governments and large organizations are also paying attention. Cardano has had partnerships with universities, agricultural groups, and tech companies. 
These partnerships are not just about testing ideas. They are about finding real uses for blockchain that can help people and businesses. And because Cardano was designed to be scalable and low cost, it is especially useful in regions where internet connections are slower or where people cannot afford high transaction fees. That is why so many of its real-world projects are focused on Africa and other developing areas. It is not just a theory, it is being tested in places that need it most. To sum it up, Cardano is being used for digital IDs, farming records, banking tools without banks, and digital art. Its low fees and careful design make it a strong choice for solving real problems, especially in parts of the world where traditional systems do not work well. This gives it a unique role in the crypto space, not just as a technology platform, but as a tool for global change. And finally, the most important topic for the day, which is ADA tokenomics and the future of Cardano. ADA is the native coin of the Cardano network. Just like dollars are used in the United States or euros in Europe, ADA is the currency that powers everything on Cardano. As we already said, you need ADA to pay transaction fees, run smart contracts, and take part in network decisions. Cardano has a maximum supply of 45 billion ADA coins. That means no more than 45 billion ADA can ever exist. This limit helps control inflation, which is when a currency loses value because too much of it exists. Bitcoin has a similar fixed supply, which is one reason people often compare Bitcoin and Cardano. The way ADA is distributed is also important. Some ADA was given to early investors when Cardano first launched. Some goes to people who help run the network. And some is saved in a treasury. The treasury works like a community savings account. It stores funds that can be used later for development if the community agrees through a vote. Price-wise, ADA has had its ups and downs. Like most cryptocurrencies, its price can be very unpredictable. In 2021, ADA reached over $3, putting it among the top five cryptocurrencies at the time. But after that, the price fell along with the rest of the crypto market. Many factors can affect the price of ADA, including general market trends, new updates on the network, and global economic news. Cardano is working on several upgrades that may shape its future. One is the Basho phase, which focuses on scaling. This means helping the network handle more transactions at once without slowing down. Another is the Voltaire phase, which is about governance. Governance means allowing the community to vote on how Cardano should grow and change. For example, people who hold ADA could vote on which new features to develop or how to spend money from the treasury. Looking ahead, Cardano wants to become a fully decentralized and self-sustaining system. That means no single company or person will control it. Instead, its future will be in the hands of its users. However, there are still challenges. One big challenge is adoption. While Cardano has many features and strong technology, it still needs more users and developers building real applications. Another challenge is competition. Cardano is not alone. Other blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, and Avalanche are moving fast, adding features and building strong communities. Cardano also has to prove that its slow and careful approach can win in the long run. Some people like that Cardano takes its time and uses peer-reviewed research. Others say it moves too slowly and misses out on fast-moving trends. Only time will tell which approach will work best. In short, ADA is a key part of the Cardano network. It helps keep the system running, allows people to earn rewards, and lets the community make decisions. While Cardano has big goals and strong ideas, it will need to keep growing attract more users, and stay ahead of the competition to reach its full potential. And just like that, you made it to the very end of today's video. I can see that you are truly determined to learn about cryptocurrencies. If so, make sure to check one of these two videos you see on the screen right now. World of Crypto is on the brink of mass adoption, and gaining knowledge represents the key part of making success in it. Just imagine you understood Bitcoin back in 2011, or Google marketing in early 2000s, you would have made millions super easy, simply because there was no competition. Hope you found this video helpful. If yes, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment your thoughts. See you in our next video.